Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to F1 2020 here for round 22 of season 1 of my team for the final race in Abu Dhabi. So we're starting off the episode by consolidating some more upgrades. In terms of uh, the upgrade situation it's looking pretty dire. Um, I think we've still got 7 upgrades left to do, 6 or 7 maybe. And we've only got one race left, uh, left to do it. So... Hopefully we can, because that is as much as possible. It's going to set us back for Season 2 pretty heavily. But, um, yeah, let's just focus on getting a good uh, result this weekend. You see, we, uh, after practice, we're going to consolidate another weight reduction upgrade, I believe. We're just uh, I'm looking at the moment to see what all the upgrades are that surround us, because um, I really need to start doing some brake upgrades. That's the one thing I've noticed that this car is struggling with, is actually getting pulled up. It's very, it's good through the corners, it's uh, pretty decent down the straights, but it's stopping the car that we're losing a lot of time. Maybe on average three to four times a lap. Um, obviously it's circuit dependent really. We're moving to qualifying now. Uh, we're setting a lap, sort of pretty much at the end of the session here with five minutes remaining. It's probably going to be our only running Q1. We do a 32.8. A and that gets us P11, and that gets us through pretty comfortably. We're a second off Hamilton at the moment. So, out of the stocks, doesn't really look all that good for us as we now cut on to Q2. We're going out with 10 minutes left to do our first run. It's a 33.1. I believe that's only used set of uh, soft tyres, though. I believe I'm going for the two-stop, and we go for the full softer set of uh, tyres as we finish Q2. I didn't see the lap time there. Um, but it gets us into P6, so we're through into Q3 now. I don't said all that too surprised because it is Abu Dhabi. I'm pretty strong around here. It is one of my uh, more favoured tracks. And we did a 32.4, so already four tenths off Hamilton now. So pace has definitely improved. Um, we're starting a fresh set of softs. So I'm going to be able to do soft, medium, soft, I believe, is the fastest way around Abu Dhabi. Obviously, this is... Th these videos are... Uh, Recorded around the same time as I was doing the league races. Obviously, I didn't take part in the Abu Dhabi league race because I had other commitments. But I definitely know the strategy and I know how to do this race in terms of like ERS, etc., etc. But like Mexico, a couple of episodes ago, as we were currently um, provisional second, we're now um, currently P4, but we do have our final lap to complete. I believe we were the last one to cross the line. Going to say to one you want to absolutely cheese these curbs. We run a bit wide uh, over the first part of the curb, so that's going to hamper us, hamper us a lot. We're going to lose a lot of lap time for it, probably maybe a tenth, a tenth and a half. But we get a very decent run out of the hairpin going onto the first DRS straight, so that's going to help us out massively. See, we're gaining a lot of time here. We're now 1.3 tenths up. I believe Hamilton's done a 131, like a high 31. Uh, so we're going to have to pull out a lot in this last lap to get close to him. Go through the um, chicane that splits the two straights. I'm pretty weak through there, but luckily we uh, the fresh tyres help us improve on our previous best. I believe our first lap was done on a used set of softs. We actually get purple in the middle sector, which is nice to see. We're currently in P5 as Verstappen gets ahead of us. And now we've only got the tight, twisty um, sector three left to go. And this is very strong for me as a player. Um, and we're a lot faster here than the AIs. We lock up going into that right hander actually. So it's gonna hurt us a little bit. We lose about half a tenth because of it. And now we're just chucking the car in through these final corners. We've lost about a tenth here so far. And I'll go through the final corner, run wide on the exit, not invalidate the lap, and we'll go through the final corner. It's gonna be a three nearly a three and a half tenth improvement. And that is going to put us in P2 actually. It's also a very good lap from us. Um it's a good lap to put us P2, if Valtteri is 4 tenths ahead, so even with um, the mistakes not being made that lap, we'd have probably only gained maybe another tenth, maybe 2 or 3 tenths if we're lucky. Um, so we wouldn't have been a uh, chance for pole, I don't think. And now we're going to move into the race. We currently don't have a rival at the moment, the rival will be given to us by the media at some point. Uh, I believe our next rival is given to us at the beginning of Season 2. And now, let's go into the race, the final one of Season 1, let's come over a decent result and try and beat Vettel in the Championship and hold on to 4th place in the Constructors. 
Christian Bell is prevailing to become the youngest world champion to date. Is there one last thing of the tale awaiting us today? Time to find out. Here comes the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yaz Moringa Circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both Turn 8 and Turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test the driver's braking management. And with me as usual is Anthony Davis. Now, I want to talk to you about Valtteri Bottas. So, lining up here for the start of the Grand Prix, we're going to aim, I think we do the soft medium soft strategy, uh, put in just over a lap of fuel, as you can see there, Jeff giving us all sorts of monkey strategies to do, we're going to get, yeah, we're doing soft medium to soft, as is to be expected, we're going to do about, um, I think, eight laps and then nine laps at the end on the, the softs. Gonna overfuel the car, not by much, just over a lap. Um, I usually overfuel the car um, either by a lap or a lap and a half, and then go like 0.1 or 2 over uh, just to, you know, um, I don't know. I'll come on to that in a second. Anyway, we've got five lights, so we get a fantastic start compared to Valtteri Bottas, who he bogs down a lot, I think, in second or third gear, so we actually lead going into turn one. And hopefully we're going to hold on to this lead now, it's been an amazing start. And we're just going to try and run away with this. Uh, I'll get onto the fuel situation in a minute. As uh, Valtteri is looking pretty threatening at the early stage. Obviously that Mercedes is going to be very quick in a straight line. Hopefully we can get a decent run out of the hairpin. It would mean chance as Valtteri has actually got a pretty poor run out of the hairpin. He's going six times behind. So the fuel, I, over, I usually put in like... 0.7 or 0.3 of a lap extra fuel just because the start it burns a little bit of fuel and because you know OCD and I want it to be exactly on a set amount like a set amount of fuel that's actually the most boring excuse but whatever um now go down the second DRS straights obviously DRS isn't enabled yet we still hold um the lead of the Grand Prix ahead of Valtteri and Working this one out in the championship is we actually come to lap 8 here because nothing happened. Valtteri had no attempts uh, to pass me at all. We're coming to the pits along with uh, Bottas behind and we're going to be going to the medium. So see what Valtteri puts on. I think he's going to put on soft tyres. So this is going to be an interesting uh, strategy decision by Mercedes. Um, well, yes, the championship. Vettel's 19 points ahead of us. So I have to win the race or comes. So I wait. The lowest I have to be is second with the fastest lap and Vettel has to not score points and that way I'll get fourth in the championship. If I win the race, Vettel has to come, I believe, seventh. I think he has to come eighth. If uh, I win, he has to come seventh. I basically need to finish lower than seventh, really. And I get fastest lap, which we currently hold. I don't think I've got any worries about not getting fastest lap, but we're going to do what we can. Trying to win the race as Jovanazzi is doing his level best to hold us up. Valtteri is on the soft tyres. But I feel that like car is very well set up for both tyre compounds for the softs and mediums. So hopefully we should have good pace over him and we've put a car between ourselves and Valtteri. 
and now we're just going to try and pull away on the second DRS straight. Giovinazzi isn't really a threat to us, he's just more of an annoyance. And let's, let's hope that he's annoyance to Valtteri as well, as um, Valtteri actually gets past him relatively easily. On the DRS straight now, uh, lap 9, we've caught up to this massive cluster of uh, cars here, little there. Human centipede, and this is going to hold us up a lot. Some of these guys, uh, Ricardo's on the mediums, uh, Albon on the softs, he'll be pulling to the pits. And we need to get past these guys quickly, as so Ricardo has an absolute terrible run. He holds us up there on the exit, and Valtteri's going to go to the outside of us here into turn one. But luckily, he can't break late because Ricardo's in front of him, and we get back up the inside of Valtteri. Now, we are still currently provisionally leading this race. Um, but we, we just need to stop putting cars between ourselves and Bottas. Otherwise, uh, it's going to become very difficult to so go around the outside of Ricardo there. These fresh mediums proving very useful indeed. And that's going to be a car between ourselves and Valtteri again. Hopefully we'll get past Stroll on this straight. Hopefully we're going to stroll past him in DRS. So, yeah, that happened. And now that's two cars between myself and Bottas. And next up is Lando Norris, who's currently leading this race. I don't know what the medium runners are going to be doing for strategy. They might go onto the softs at the end. A one-stop is doable around here, but I don't think for the AI it's doable. So, uh, it's confirmed there that Lando Norris is going to be putting on the softs to run to the end. A double soft stint. And now we've actually, um, in that lap that we uh, had Bottas behind the other two cars, we've pulled out a four-second lead. And now we cut it on to lap 19. Because Bottas pitted, he didn't get close to us, he may have got within a second, but made no attempts to get past us, his soft died off pretty quickly. And he's now 25 seconds behind us, gained, uh, held up by Lando Norris once again. And we're going on to a fresh set of softs, so we're going to have a newer and softer compound of tighter run to the end of this Grand Prix on Valtteri, currently holds the fastest lap as our pit crew gives us a fantastic 1.9 second pit stop there. And it looks like we're going to emerge well ahead of Valtteri. Valtteri's just crossing the start finish line now. We're already pretty much in turn two. So yeah, we're going to be maybe six seconds ahead of Valtteri. Three are yeah, around about six seconds. And that's going to be it really. Um, we could just push to the end now at this lap. I was pushing for fastest lap. As we run around the exit of uh, the final corner, we improved by two seconds on our previous best to do a 134.2. A very nice lap indeed. So that's going to solidify us P, um, P1 on the fastest lap. Basically, Vettel's actually in P5 at the moment. And he's got a pretty big air gap to Charles Leclerc behind him. And unfortunately, as we, uh, as we come to finish off the final lap of the race, the final lap of the season, it is going to be three wins in a row from us. Um, unfortunately, Vettel is going to be finishing p5 so we're only going to gain 16 points and we're going to miss out on the championship by three point well miss out on the championship sorry miss out on improving our championship position by three points but overall a fantastic race a uh, pretty boring one actually um just because of the pace we had a good race a very very good championship i am ecstatic with how season one went three wins in a row at the end of the season four wins in total five podiums it's uh yeah it's it, it did a lot better than i expected to be i expected this to be a lot tougher i expected to be just fighting for points uh this back, back half of the season but to finish the championship in position uh five in the drivers and to finish the uh constructors in p4 as best of the rest is um it's a good feeling i uh i am very proud of uh what i was able to achieve this season it's definitely been one of the more enjoyable types of uh, career modes that we've had and yeah it's nothing much really i can say um there's going to be no uh like housekeeping activities at the end of this episode we're actually going to uh talk about that in a second so we'll just look at the um race results here we're significantly faster than the mercedes behind us hamilton's set the next fastest lap time of a 35.4 so we're 1.2 seconds faster than him 
it's a pretty commanding win. Um, as you can see, Vettel. I ever think Vettel he didn't need to finish seventh, and then we'd have been equal on points. But yes. Um, there is going to be uh, as I said no housekeeping stuff in this episode. We're not going to be looking at potential drivers for next season. That is all coming in a live com episode that I'm doing. And um, this will obviously come out after this one. It's going to be, I think, pretty much unedited. Um, but in that episode, it's going to be about 45 minutes or so. We're going to go through all of the drivers as we are we're ahead of racing point now. So we did secure P4 in the constructors, which is nice. But yes, in that episode, we are going to go through basically everything in the inter-team section. We're going to be picking our teammates for season two. We're going to be picking our new livery for season two. We're going to be picking sponsors, engines, new team colours. We're going to be choosing the calendar for next season. I decided that we're going to do a 16 race calendar. The whole 16 races will be randomised. And obviously my reaction to those races will be live. Um, but that's all coming. Basically everything that um, we'll need sorting out to start season 2 will be coming in the next uh, video. Obviously there's it's probably going to be very boring. 45 minutes of me just talking in an unedited and very awkward way. So I don't feel you have to watch that, you just skip through the important parts. Um, I'll probably be at the end of uh, the start of season 2 for uh, the first race, I'll go through like the main things that happened. Yes, um, season 1, very happy with it. If you didn't enjoy uh, this final race of season 1, please do leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts for um, how we'll do in season 2. Let me know how we'll do for the regulation changes, because that's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see if we've uh, lost out massively, or whether we're actually going to gain positions because the our rivals uh, didn't consolidate as many upgrades as we did. We yeah, are catch up for the start of season two very soon.